12-time winners of the Mobile One 12 Hours of Sebring, defending champions from 2022, Corvette Racing are masters of Sebring and have won more times there than at any other track. For Corvette Racing to have won 12, Mobile One 12 Hours of Sebring is pretty incredible, so hopefully we can make it 13 this year. Sebring is known for just being a rough circuit, lots of bumps. It's built on an old World War II airstrip, so teams and cars and drivers come here to kind of prove their equipment, so it speaks volumes for Corvette Racing over its history to have so much success here on such a hollowed grounds. The race itself obviously is super challenging being 12 hours. Everyone says 12 hours of Sebring is like 24 hours everywhere else. The Corvettes that I've raced here have always been great race cars. So something that they do, some magic dust that Gary Pratt or some of the engineers have kind of sprinkled on these cars over the years has made that difference. But if I told you all Corvettes racing secrets on how we're uh, so fast here at Sebring, I'd be fired in a heartbeat. The Mobile One Sebring 12 hours means a lot to Corvette racing itself. I mean, we had a lot of success. I was lucky enough to win four times, I think, here, so every time we come back here, it's always a good race for us, and let's hope this is another good one. Corvette's 25th year of top-level endurance racing also sees a full-time entry in the World Endurance Championship, kicking off their season at Sebring. Their drivers in the number 33 for the WEC 1000 miles would be bringing all their previous experience from the IMSA 12-hour race. My very first race ever, in 20, let's see, 2007 was at Sebring. I've grown to love this place over time. Once in the Viper, we were leading the race and we blew an engine on the last lap of the race. So we won the 11 hours and 58 minutes of Sebring. So both Corvette Racing and myself have a lot of experience here. It's such a unique place, such a difficult place. And I really believe this is one of the proper old school endurance events. We don't get so much of those anymore. They all turn into sprint races, but this is a proper race. You have to survive. Sebring is in a league of its own. Katzberg, Keating and Nico Verone scored a sensational victory in the WEC race on the Friday, but that didn't guarantee that the number three car team would follow suit on the Saturday. Having the WEC here is always good, especially for the fans. They get two big races, two of the biggest sports car championships around the world, so we get to watch those WEC guys race, and you can really learn a lot from it, even though it's a different car, different class. You can kind of see how the race flows, see how many yellows are going to be how the track develops over a run. It's not like it used to be when we were on the C7R here on a complete identical spec. That was double the time of testing and that, I think that was helping both the programs. Now we are running a WEC GTLM and IMSA GTD Pro car, which is completely different. The only thing you can share is track conditions. The 12 hours of Sebring was looking promising for much of the day for Corvette Racing. Garcia, Taylor and Milner leading for most of the race, but they know as well as anyone that the race finishes at night and that can be the biggest test. It's a very unique feeling as a driver on Sebring in the dark. You come through turn one and you've got all the pit straight lights and as soon as you go around one, you kind of go into this little bit of a black hole until you get back around to the front straight. So. It's a lot of fun. Usually by that time of the race, the flow of the race is much different. The lap times usually come down as the track temp goes down. So hopefully every time you get to the night time, you're still in the hunt for the win and, and you can go racing. With just minutes left in this year's race, Corvette's finisher Garcia was at the wheel, chasing victory in heavy traffic when heartbreak struck. The overall GTP leaders have come together and that's the Corvette they've hit as well. Oh my goodness, their mobile one 12 hours of Sebring is over. Super Sebring had delivered the highs and lows of endurance racing. The US squad did leave Florida with a victory. This time though, it had been the WEC team that triggered the celebrations.